Hi you guys, this is Gwendolyn again and for today's video I would like to show you another handbag by Just Fab. Well, from Just Fab. Same difference. Okay, this is the bag that I wanted to show you today. This is a like one of those straw type of a handbags and I thought this would be a good bag for the summer. Of course it's like really popular handbag in the summer but this one is made really cute. It's like all the straps stay you know what I think you can fold them in. They can fold in like that because it comes with a strap an adjustable strap of course like that so you could tuck your handles in like that see there that's really cute and it's really cute I like the way the I like when handbags have these type of a clasp I like these type like that's a pretty good quality I guess maybe I shouldn't say that but I'm guessing but anyway I like the bag a lot it has a typical zipper pocket in there pretty nice size and a just a pocket like for maybe your your phone or something like that there again that size reminds me of my bag here there we go with that satchel type of you know I'm just saying that where the bag where the bags get a little bit narrower and then they get out come out wider whether it's on the top or bottom it's another one I have similar like that oh the other one I bought from just fab the one I showed you got I think last few weeks or whatever let me get to this under here is I have all my hand a lot of handbags right next to me not all of them by no means but I have some of them right next to me that's what I'm looking over sorry if the lighting is going in and out because I'm sort of shifting around but it's like this one a little bit from just fab the I forgot the name of it but it's a cute satchel see it's made similar to that it's pretty similar it's really cute made a lot it's a lot like that I'll just put this one over here temporarily sitting on some paper that's what I took out of this handbag because it was packed with paper this one was okay so that there are no pockets or anything on the outside of course typical on the bottom it has that I think like that croc I call it everything croc something like the pattern I don't know which is which I don't know if alligator croc can't be snake because I don't do that I don't do snake bags I don't I would never well maybe I should say no I would never <laughs> carry a snake bag I know I'm not gonna wear their shoes or anything I hate I well I shouldn't say hate on the video but I cannot tolerate those things and I don't I don't like their skin or anything so Anyway, if that was the, if that was this case, I wouldn't have been carrying this thing. Okay, so let's find out a few things that would fit inside this bag. Just because it's lightweight, pretty much. It's not. It's pretty light. It feels similar to my others. I thought it would be really light. I'm looking at stuff, being that it's the straw. But this is a pretty. It's like lined really well. It's like. It's a really good, it's a good quality. I think it's a pretty, it seems like a pretty good quality. Typical, I guess, of these, of the style, but it's a pretty good quality. I have no feet on the bottom. Okay, let's put a few things in here. I was carrying this bag earlier because I actually am leaving the house off and on for right to now because Hayden goes to his classes and things like that. His swim class and things like this, his school. So let's see a few things. Here's a water bottle. It's empty, but I'll just just show you that. And I've shown this a long, long, long time ago. This is a water bottle that folds up. You let the air out, and you roll it up like this, just because I got this here. And you put this thingy over it. 
this little stretchy part you put over the water bottle I'm not doing it perfect but you get the point it goes over the bottle like that and you hook it on to stuff if you're going running or something or whatever or going wherever you want to take it with you so you can put this in there like that or opened up I just decided to show that again I've had these for years I have a pink one as well so the air is out of it's all now it's all jacked up there we go okay so anyway if it was a regular water bottle that would fit in there sent to this down here on this paper I have like let's put like spare shoes I always carry like when I remember I carry my spare shoes this is a some shoes I bought years years ago this Hollywood brand and they're yeah Hollywood fashion flats I don't think they I can't find these anywhere anymore but they may have some similar and see they fold up in there oh my god something something's on there some kind of paper anyway but it folds up like that the shoes and it's just good to have with you if you go places this makeup okay so it's good to just have something like that if you're wearing heels or what especially me if like something like this if I'm wearing maybe a heel or something and then like go walking or something with a just beach or something whatever you may want to take some flats with you here's just a just a regular Louis um, pochette I'm gonna put that in here Remember, I got the water bottle in here as well. And I have, I was going to do this wallet, the Coach wallet, or the Sarah. I was trying to look at the sizes to go with, like, one of the largest wallets I could find. Because I like to start with the largest of anything, pretty much. So I'm going to go with the Insolent. And it took me forever to get this wallet and decide to talk about it today not to buy it or anything but it is so hard to find this wallet I love it because it's really large and it, it just is a really nice wallet see there it has where it has like what one two three four five six seven eight nine I think six, 12 spaces to hold wallets here it had I mean, wallets to hold cards it has a zipper part here I've done a video I think on this or I should but I love this wallet it zips here for money cash and things like that I don't know how well I'm showing it but I'll link the if I have a video on it I'll link it if not I'll do one on it but this I love this wallet a lot but it because it's really big and you could put your phone inside of here in like here somewhere my phone is over here let me grab it really quickly sorry okay how bad is that I'm terrible and I moved my my setup my chair and things in the in my filming room I just switched it so well it could go maybe if I took that thing off the back my phone could my phone could fit in there I've done this I know I've shown this before and it fits in there inside the wallet so you could just carry this that's what I like about it so I'm gonna leave my phone in there for right now hope it doesn't ring or anything so but I'll put that in there let's put like put these two wallets down what else could I put in here some people carry cologne this is just a bottle I have sitting over there one of the ones I love the Miss DuJour by Christian DuJour whatever I'm just putting that in here because it's it's empty. I put it there to remind myself to get a new one. That's just what things I do. Okay, here's another like side wallet to you know like have your what's like your store cards and things like that it's in there. So it's good to just have with you. Maybe let's get something bigger. I got a mask and things like that. There's something bigger. Let's get like a the iPad mini let's put that in there let's put oh there's a brush this is a nice brush brush Chanel this is really nice let's put that in there oh what else 
Well, since we're wearing masks, let me put one in there. I wanted my thin, I have a tiny one, a smaller one. I just, I don't know, it's in my other. And I took, I took a small handbag this morning. I switched out. So that and maybe Kleenex. I ripped off a piece of that. Gosh, I'm just a mess today. That, this, what is this thingy? Um, chapstick, stuff like that. Let's just put that down in there. I don't want to put this mask in there. I want to do the other one. I just don't have it with me. So let's pretend it's really, it's really small. It's like the Kleenex size. So we're going to pretend this is my other mask because it's really tiny. It will it folds up really small. So I don't want to put that real big one. Okay. So with that, those things I got in here, remember my wallet is inside. I mean, my phone is inside to my, inside my wallet. Oh, have an eaten, you guys. I'm crazy today. So I got all of that in there. I got the bottle, bottle lying down, the water bottle. Let me try to put, raise it up a little bit more. See there. I got all of that. And if it's, and I have room on the top. Now, as we know, the more things you put in a bag, just because it's lightweight, it makes the bag, of course, heavier. It's not real heavy. It isn't. I personally just don't like putting a lot of pressure, a lot of, um, I don't like my straps to have to support a lot of weight. It's just the way I am. I typically, when I put a handbag on and I think it's a little bit heavy, I sort of, I've said it before in a video, I walk like with the bag holding, I sort of put my arm under, my hand under the bag a little bit as I'm walking, I kind of tuck my hand under the bag a little bit just so I don't have a surprise and it just falls apart. Or like, you know, when you're walking through, like I've said this before as well, like crowds of people and things like that, your bag, you know, gets kind of banged around or whatever. That's to help prevent things like that and just ripping or something. That's just what I do. Or I typically just hold it by the handle as I'm walking through a crowd crowd of things like that of people. So it holds that and it will hold a lot more. There would be like I could put a scarf and things like that in there, but that's a decent amount of things that it holds. So it, it's just, and I still, like I said, I still got space and I have nothing in my pockets. I didn't put anything inside the pockets. And the water bottle could sit up. Okay, I, I had it lying over. Let's set it up. Let's see what, how does that work? How does that pan out? I just want to put it more away from the handle. Got that. Put this on the bottom. Okay, see, and it can sit up. If you want to work like your bottle. Wait, hold up, let me try to get a better view. It's right here, right there. The water bottle is sitting up. There's a better view. That's it, and just of course tilting it over. See, all of that, and you got space on the top. You could put like shades or things like that. I thought I brought them in here with me my shades but so they could go across the top a scarf a some like another pair of clothing or something here's one of our t-shirts that we had over there I'm just going to show you like if you wanted to put something across the top because there is no closure across the top but you could put like a scarf or something see there you could do something like that and kind of seal it on the um, across the top a little bit like that because there is no snap or anything for this particular bag. See there? There are ways. There are definitely ways to carry a nice summer bag. Making sure I didn't miss something on it. I'm trying to make sure. That's pretty good. So in this size bag, I don't remember the size I let. Lexi, maybe put the measurements if that matters. So we can just show you where we got it. So in this size, it is so neat. I have, again, let's go backwards. Not in a particular order, but a water bottle. Standard size of one, right? That makeup brush. Put it over here. I had a spare wallet for like business cards and things like that and store cards. 
thing, a container, a perfume, cologne, whichever you prefer. And that, and just putting it over here back where things belong. Okay, that. I had this little Kleenex in place of like a mask that we're wearing right now, of course. I have one about this. It folds up really tiny, so that's that's what I'm using it for. I put the iPad Mini 2 or whichever, whatever it is. The large insulin um, wallet and my phone because it would if it's in there. And those that's in there. A makeup bag, or I could go larger. So if you have a larger pochette, I do have some larger, it would fit in here. Definitely. Shoes, some some flats in here. That was in there. No, I didn't, like I said, I had nothing in the pockets yet. The makeup, I mean the, what's that thing? The chopstick. And I could have done so much more. I could have done so much more with what I did. And it neatly fits in here. This is a nice size bag. Just like the other one that I showed you. It's a really nice size handbag. I'm just lying this stuff back in here. But love it. I think it's really beautiful. I love it. There was another strong one on just that that that's I was thinking about getting. And I just made because I really like this. I'm going to do a hot. I'm going to do a um, outfit. An outfit one of these days with this because I have um, like it's really cute dress that I want to show it's like a anyway it's really cute so I'm not gonna go into details about it but I'm gonna show that with this one day and it was something else I was gonna tell you guys oh what was it about this bag but I don't remember they have a couple others on there and I just they have a few others I may try a couple other styles as well but I love this and of course like I said the, uh, the strap is detachable you could just carry the handles. The handles, like I said, once again, they do fold away. They tuck inside. There is no closure directly on the bag. There is nothing, not magnetic or anything. There is nothing there. But that's kind of common for, I guess, the summer straw bags. Beautiful. Good material. This feels pretty good. I know it's a faux leather of some sort. This simulated, I'm guessing simulated alligator or something like maybe that maybe similar to alligator I'm guessing you know a croc and alligator to me looks <laughs> looks similar on a handbag I don't know the pattern of their skin enough but I'm sure it's a simulation this would be way more expensive than that and just for the record again with I've said I think in another hand in another handbag I think in another video I, I spoke a little bit about oh yes it's back a little bit a little bit about how just fab works and as I've said in the past I just will repeat it a little bit it's a membership of course we know that but the way it works is I guess as you order the from the first order on I guess as you stay with them for I don't know the time limit I don't I'm not sure you become a VIP if you just sign up with their company, if I'm not mistaken, unless they've changed something, and you pay monthly or skip a month or two if you like, $39.95. And so whatever price the items are on this site, which they vary, they vary from, could be lower than that and more expensive. It could be something that $50, $60, whatever on there, you pay membership price for your for the purchase of the item then and then they do things like they also run sales on the site sometimes it's better to do something like this this is my opinion sometimes it's better to like skip a month don't pay your membership for that month this is my opinion sometimes it's good to just skip the month go on there catch a huge sale like if it's 50 60 something percent off pay that price for that sale item if it works I'm not saying it will work all the time but check your sale things like that and you may 
pay lesser than you started than the 39 sometimes they run things down to ten dollars so you could get maybe a better deal sometimes but I'm not saying that works all the time I'm not I don't know but I've done it I've done it I call my representative if I'm having uh, problems I'm sorry just keep working if I'm having problems doing it online myself I call in the company and I tell them hey I'm trying to do this and that and other and I want that discount price so they typically walk me through it put it on you know do it handle it on their end for me so I can get to what I'm trying to get because I'm always looking for sales on there right, if I could save less than that I will then by the same token if you if you have credit like just say you have your $39.95 taken out of your off your card or whatever per month and you've not used it yet this comes off on the fifth it doesn't it it comes off on the fifth fifth geez, but it doesn't necessarily come out of your account yet on the fifth so it may take a few days it may take three days later okay three or four days later whatever I think it depends on like if it falls on a weekend or whatever so but it's going to come off unless you stop it even though you don't see it yet if you signed up to be a member it's going to come off of your card $39.95 per month unless you say otherwise it's going to happen so but that being said you have credit sitting there if you haven't used it yet if you go in into the next month or weeks later and you haven't used the money used and purchasing they're not just going to send you anything they're not going to send you anything you it's just going to be credited to your account correct I mean was understand so with the credit if you want to decide later in the month to buy something you start looking and if you have something that costs $39.95 per, I mean, that's what you're going to spend. But something is $20 or $10 that you want. Get more than one item. Get the $20, get a $10, calculate it up to closest to $39.95 as you can. So get more than one item. I do that. I look for sales and I get earrings or something. I have some earrings like these right here. These came from Just Fab. These are really cute. See that? It's really cute. I had those on today, but this so this just a shirt on. I didn't wear with this thing. Those are beautiful. I have some other ones. I have other ones to show you. They're beautiful, but those were like ten dollars, I think nine, ten dollars or something. So I add things together. I would stock up, stack up my items in the cart to get me as close to thirty nine ninety five as I can. And if I sometimes go a few dollars over, I still get a good deal. I get two or three items. Every time, every every chance I get, I try to get two or three items. I don't care if it's $20, I don't care if it's $10. It's still my money, and I try to do that. Anyway, so and then you get monies for it used to be ten dollars, I think. I could be wrong. I just I just forgot. I've been with them for a while. So it's fifteen dollars, I think per person you sign into VIP a person that one of your friends or whatever decided to be a VIP with just fab you get $15 off per one person unless it's different per person that signs up through your code that you get you get $15 off every person I don't know how long it lasts I don't like I don't know I don't know if it's I'm guessing it's just for that time for that initial sign up I have no idea I did it to read that detail but anyway that's how it works pretty much in a nutshell I could go through more I could write stuff in the description whatever you guys want okay you guys this camera told me deuces love you guys take care of yourself glad to be back like I said on a more of a regular basis remember to turn on the notifications for sure to like comment if you like if you need to if you have something you'd like to say with to me that's good too and definitely subscribe but I love you guys so much. Be safe, stay safe, take care of yourself and others. Love you so much. Bye-bye. Deuces!